last time on Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, we helped Queen Bean. And now, even though we're supposed to go to school to stop Cacletta, it's time for backtracking. Hey, so remember this first minigame? Guess what? It has more than one level, and we're doing them all. Great. So yeah, Border Jump Challenge does actually get legitimately pretty hard. Like, these guys can fake you out so easily, and oftentimes it is not a good idea to jump with both Mar and Luigi at the same time. Oh, yeah. That the uh, I would have thrown my GBA through a window if I tried to do this. <laughs> God, I... Get if I was ever able to clear all of these legitimately back in the day. I think I might have, but it took a while. Alright, so what's your reward for clearing a level? Beans. <laughs> Roll the beautiful bean footage. What about those beans. So yes, we get a special type of bean for clearing many games, and as he said, we can't get these beans just anywhere. Uh, let's see, I think these are... tea beans? Uh, he beans, rather. Oh, yeah. So, let's see, uh, have we seen... I think we've seen all bean types by now. Uh, woo beans are some of the easiest to find. Those are the green ones that drop from some of the weakest enemies in the game, so they're easy to get. They're everywhere. Uh, he beans, as I said, are only for mini games. Also, Jesus Christ, <laughs> this pattern. I just noticed something. Look at the flag colors on these two. Yeah, one's red and then the other's blue. <laughs> That's not right. Don't know who fucked that up. Alright, Luigi, let's go. Yeah, most of the uh, NPCs in this game are red and green, but not these two. I guess these guys are just, like, classic Mario overall color colors? And just that, Luigi gets left out. Blue fly guy is blue-green colorblind. <laughs> I don't know if that's common or, like, even possible with colorblindness. He just looks at Luigi and he's like, Why do they call you Mr. Green? Wait a second. Oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah, here's where they start throwing these in. Fuck, Fuck look off! At this. <laughs> <laughs> these two just woke up today, I will cause problems on purpose. <laughs> They are so devious. I'm surprised they're not doing anything now. <laughs> Just the fucking Kaizo trap with the ropes. Oh yeah, and to uh, sum up, to sum up the uh, rest of the beans, the red ones are chuckle beans. They come from underground. That's what we use Luigi for. And who beans are the brown ones that come from boxes. Alright, more of this. So... Hmm, I don't want to play any of these. So what if instead we take the complete border jump? Oh no. What if we just did all of the border jumps in the row? Just all of them. How many minigames like this are very honest and just call the last mode, like, hate yourself mode. <laughs> Endurance mode. You will not get through this mode. It won't be worth it mode. <laughs> uh, so yes, uh, they do give a very clear indication as to when they're switching to the next level. They do the, uh, hops like they do normally at the end. 
Uh, and if you're wondering, no, none of the border jumps are randomized. Uh, so, if you really want to complete all of these, you can at least memorize them. It's still kind of tricky to pull off, but, you know, if you know what's going to happen, it lightens it a little bit. <laughs> what's really going to suck is after the credits roll, these two run by, and if you don't jump with correct timing, you have to save, delete your save file. <laughs> Uh, in order to get the uh, best ending of the game, you actually have to choose to erase all of your border jump progress. <laughs> it's like you never even crossed the border. What they don't tell you is if you play Partners in Time with Superstar Saga in the GBA slot, there is a random chance that these two will run out, and if you don't jump with good timing, it's game over. <laughs> Yeah, we call it the Border Bros Anywhere system. <laughs> call it the Border Brothers Fuck You and Die system. Oh god, I got so antsy by the end of this. You know, I guess it's a good thing they never, like, swing the rope overhead. So if you jump, you oh, lose. God. That would suck. But, uh, yeah, cleared all of the border jumps in a row, even Super Borders Jump Sunshine, which is only going to be available until March next year. Alright, so what's a reward? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Beans! That's it! That's not worth it. <laughs> I remember the last time I ordered baked beans at a restaurant and they gave me seven beans. So yeah, uh, like, just for reference, uh, if you'll remember, level four uh, gave you five beans, so if you just complete the much shorter border jump level first, you get more beans if you do that twice in a row, which is faster. And if you do level 3, which is slightly easier and still shorter than level 5, three times in a row, you still get more beans than level 5. <laughs> uh, so yeah, anyway, that's all the border jumps. We don't have to do those anymore. <laughs> but on the bright side, you do have seven beans in hand. <laughs> Seven beans in hand. Make believable. Mm -hmm. uh, so, thanks to old Blablabadon, we're able to go to the top of Hoo Hoo Mountain. And if you're wondering why I'm doing this, it's because there are bean digging spots throughout the mountain. There weren't any others in Stardust Field, to my knowledge, so I could just skip that. I, I think I actually checked off-screen if there were any and there weren't. There are some on the mountain, though. I hope you found them noteworthy and marked their locations on, like, a piece of paper or something like that, because you're a kid with a lot of free time. But, you know, I, I didn't do that back in the day. I don't think I bothered backtracking through here, either. Yeah... Stuff like this is generally why I never 100%ed games as a child. And even as an adult, I rarely do unless the game, like, actually makes 100%ing it fun. Yeah. That's the thing. If anybody suggests that getting all of the beans means it's a 100% run, punch them. <laughs> punch them very hard. Honestly, like, the game doesn't track percentage. It doesn't matter at all. 100% is what you make of it. Now you might be wondering, if that's what I'm saying now, why did I do all of this? I'm dumb. What did you expect? <laughs> uh, to be fair, though, it will kind of help getting all of these out of the way. It means that I get beans faster. Get all those good, good chuckle beans. We're not even going to see what beans are for until the next episode, but let me tell you, I'm going to have a bunch of them. 
Uh, it's also like slightly easier going down the mountain than it is going up, except in order to get all the beans, I still need to go around doing some of the uh, platforming sections again. But for the most part, it's fine. Well, that is true in real life, too. Going down the mountain is easier than going up. Potentially more dangerous, depending on how you go down the mountain. Look, I, I just work like my hero Sonic the Hedgehog, and any time I see a mountain or anything mountain-like, I will have a skateboard or skateboard-like object to just propel myself downwards. San Diego ain't shit. Every time you walk near a mountain, just the opening baseline to escape from the city plays non-stop in your head until you skateboard down it. I just... I just look at a mountain and hear be cool, be wild, and be groovy. It's it's just a thing my brain does. It's kind of like autocorrect, but less sensical. I'll write this minigame. Also, I said San Diego earlier. I meant San Francisco. Oh no, I'm a sick, fake Sonic fan. Alright, well, let's just ignore my gatekeepy crimes and uh, focus on the minigame. This minecart minigame can still be kind of difficult, I will say. Uh, but, you know, maybe a little less dexterity required than the border jump. Uh, I will say, though, it is kind of pretty much just a minigame. Like, Border Jump is there for a reason. It's there to teach you the ways in which Mario and Luigi jump, and how sometimes you shouldn't always jump at the same time. There are times when you should and shouldn't, and you sort of need to make the distinction on the spot. It's actually a pretty good tutorial, and then there are multiple levels that are just rude. <laughs> doesn't really teach you anything, it's just a minecart minigame that's... eh? I will say, Mario RPG's uh, minecart minigame is clunkier, but I kind of like its existence a bit more. Because this one's just sort of here. I like the Mario RPG one because it's just, you just at go the fucking end... flying. Yeah, you just go flying. It's supposed to be this kind of weird, chaotic traversal from the end of the dungeon back to town. Mario RPG does that a lot, where there are just these, you know, slightly chaotic sections, like the waterfall one, for example, where you're just traveling. And I like it there, because it makes it feel like you're traversing large areas, and it, it's neat. It's a good way to make the uh, world map feel bigger without making you trudge through all of it on foot. It's not useful here because we can see that Mario and Luigi are really not crossing that much distance from one cavern to another. And the Bean Bean Kingdom's interconnected anyway, so like, I don't expect it to be as big a world as Mario RPG. trying to figure out, like, what this might teach you for overworld stuff, and I'm not really think of, thinking of anything. Like, in of itself, it's, you know, it capitalizes on the game's mechanics relatively well. You know, it's a game about focusing on Mario and Luigi doing stuff, so, hey, here's this mini-game where focus is in dependent entirely on one brother. You've got to move the flashlight around, or you won't be able to know what Luigi's doing at all. Uh, I guess... <laughs> Mario and Luigi are far ha happier about this minigame than I am. This one's for them, really. Alright, but how about this? If you had to adapt the um, minecart level from Super Mario RPG to Mario and Luigi mechanics, how would you do that? Oof, 
That one's tricky. How are you making minecart level that fucking fast? Where you have to do anything besides focus on the minecart? God. And even that's hard enough. Uh, just resign yourself to the fact that Luigi will die. Ah, <laughs> uh, like I think in that case it would just have to be a flavor thing of like, Mario's, you know, doing one thing, Luigi's doing the other, maybe like focusing on turns or something. It's just in the back, pushing the cart. That would be funny actually if Luigi is just on the minecart level going way too fast, about to fly off the corners, and Mario is frantically throwing levers to make sure his brother doesn't die. <laughs> actually wait, it would probably be a lot like the uh, minecart minigame in Mario Party 1. Which is also fairly chaotic, and relies on two people. Oh jeez. Bad attack. Out of nowhere. Uh, oh, and of course, much like Border Jump, uh, these are all, you know, scripted sections, uh, Nothing's random about them. If all else fails, you could probably memorize your way through this, but jeez, boos are kind of ridiculous. Jesus. Love the mining hats, though. <laughs> I died here when the mine collapsed. <laughs> Don't trust the bean man. He killed me. <laughs> here I come. You wondering why I don't have legs? The dog ate him. You better watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. You made it to level 5 and you discovered my dark secret. Take these he beans and never tell anybody anything about what you saw here. Remember, I'm a ghost. I can find you anywhere. I am not bound to the mine I just prefer in here. I can hear the screams of all those who killed and they've comforted me over the years. So anyways, how long until we have to revisit the infinite well that is putting Luigi into Revolutionary Girl Utena? Or just any anime, really. Uh, I mean, I feel like we've mostly uh, done all we can with Utena. Mm -hmm. So now we have to put him in Dragon Ball, where he replaces Krillin. Though, briefly, uh, I've been watching Chess's streams recently, and one of her, like, uh, just stream sounds is just the English versions, my ball, uh, of Utena, rather. And so now I'm just hearing that constantly. That is a scene that did not translate well at all. Uh, so to the viewers at home, uh, the internet I'm currently on occasionally just strangles the fuck out of my connection. So I didn't hear any of that. <laughs> Something about the English version of Utena? Uh, I guess, to conserve time here, uh, I'll explain it later. Because otherwise, I'll just be repeating myself. <laughs> okay. And if I do that, I will go mad. Because I'm already seeing this minigame again. And yes, this is the endurance, why the hell are you doing this mode. <laughs> it's not fun either. Anyways, what if... Luigi was in Ava. <laughs> Again, he's in Shinji's place, but Shinji is still there, he's just not doing the bullshit. Get in the robot, Shinji, or Luigi will have to go in again. Okay! What? Alright, I'm fine with that. <laughs> it's just the first episode, but Luigi's in the robot, just, oh, I don't know about these. Maybe he's really hyped about it, and that that's why Shenji's fine with it, you know. 
Ray was all injured and mopey looking. Luigi's just like, all right, hell yeah, let's kill some angels. I just I want blood. thinking about like all those Shinji screams at Ava, and they're just replaced with Luigi's. <laughs> I'm so fucked up. <laughs> I hate that one. Oh no. I don't like the implications of that in the slightest. <laughs> uh, I guess the more important question is... What... What are the angels? Is it one consistent thing, or is it just like the Koopalings or something? Is it just Bowser repeatedly, but in different angel forms? <laughs> they just all have Bowser's face. That is the only thing that would make the end, the TV ending of Ava even weirder, is if instead of Shinji, it was Luigi in the middle. Congratulations! Wahoo! <laughs> Thank you so much for playing my game, Luigi. Oh god, that... That's right, I was behind it! Now I'm just picturing Luigi doing Shinji's rant. Just like... <laughs> okay, does the bus go through here? Where the fuck would I go? I'm on a big blue ball! Also, Waluigi has to be Asuka. Just for the scene where he gets fucking... <laughs> ...stabbed through the robot. I like how there's already... ...a fucking Sundere associated with Luigi, but instead you decided to use Waluigi. <laughs> Daisy makes more sense as Asuka, which is why we're not using her. It's funnier if it's Waluigi. Oh, Daisy's Sundere, so much as she's just really hype. Yeah, I guess more just has a personality. The Sundere thing mostly comes from the meme of, like, aren't you tired of being nice all the time? <laughs> she's just chaotic evil, it's fine. She's highly aggressive, like Asuka, but yeah, Sundere wasn't the right word, and I do apologize. I... Oh god, who's Ray then? Well, I, I think it's funnier if it's only Luigi. <laughs> it's just Lu We've determined that Luigi is actually the most powerful of all potential users of the Ava. Because, like, if you put in a bunch of Mario characters, it's, you know, one thing. But if, it's, if Luigi only replaces Shinji, that means you go whole scenes without Luigi, and then suddenly Luigi will be there again. Also, I just want to see the scene for the episode where Shinji dissolves into the fluid, except instead of his plug suit, it's just Luigi's overalls. <laughs> this is what it means to have a 1000% sync rate. <laughs> Luigi, you are worthy of my grace. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! We don't talk about that, not even as a joke. Uh, I'm trying to think of what character, you know, would be the funniest to have Luigi replace in Cowboy Bebop, and I think it might be Ayn. Because, <laughs> like, that would make the introductory episode, like, completely nonsensical. When uh, Ed and uh, Luigi leave the series, everything just starts going downhill, and everything, everyone starts drifting apart. That's honestly the best thing, is that like the last two episodes would be completely unchanged, but you would just know in the back of your head that Luigi was there two episodes ago, and it would make them weirder. He's off to be best friends with Ed. Also, I just want Luigi to do Ayn's animation after he ate those mushrooms. <laughs> 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 The scene where Luigi has to hack the the cult mainframe or whatever.
Uh, anyways, that bean was marked differently. That had a sprout on it instead of an X. Yeah, those are tricky. You you probably won't ever discover those because you know there's a whole lot of little like ground spots like that, but they're not all bean spots, just the sprouts. So anyway, here's a platforming section. These are pretty neat. Uh, you'll find these by separating Mario and Luigi. And typically when Mario goes to one of these, he'll be in mini form. It changes your jump slightly, but not too much. And for getting through them, you get to talk to one of these mole dudes. Take it, please. I don't want this golden mushroom anymore. Ah, so yes, the golden mushroom is really good. It is one of the best healing items in the game. Actually, it, it is the best. Uh, how much... I think it's just a full restore for uh, everything. So uh, yeah, extremely valuable and you're probably never going to use it because it's that good. <laughs> Though, to be fair, in this game there's actually a reason to not use mushrooms that we're not going to see for quite a while, but trust me, it is a good reason. I mean, Jared, use a golden mushroom. Unfortunately, uh, Intelli- or not, not Intelligent, this is Alpha Dream. Alpha Dream has decided, you know what? It, let's actually reward hoarding in this game. <laughs> it's a bad habit, but dang it, sometimes some games actually justify it. Uh, also, thank god we do not need to go through the barrel maze again. We got the ability to dig after going through there. We got all the beans in that direction. <laughs> You will not roll out the barrel. Not even once. No more barrels in this game. If there are any more barrels in this game, I will scream. Other than Luigi barrels. Those are fine. Those, those are fine when Luigi's in the barrel. Because it's funny seeing the mustachioed man in the barrel. He makes me laugh, and he solves the puzzles. Alright, and that's just another warp point. It's pretty handy. It's probably one of the best ones in the game as well. Uh, there is the one in the castle town, but that one's only the second best. Also, uh, fun fact, when I was younger, could not figure out what Intel was a uh, shorthand for. <laughs> me too. My parents had to explain that one to me. <laughs> bean, 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 initial airport? What's that even mean? <laughs> also, for some reason, they gate this section off. So yeah, if you, if you start going clockwise, through the Bean Bean Kingdom instead of counterclockwise, then you get gated there, and I don't know why. <laughs> it seems kind of pointless. Now, the angle of th those jumps is really weird, by the way, because there are invisible walls. Uh, so, yeah, they're kind of just, like, angled in such a way that you do have to use the lower parts of the tree to jump. If you use the upper parts of the tree, you'll just run into the, uh, wall. Uh, observant people may notice that that, uh, patch of flowers back there looked weird, but we're not going to look into that at all. Don't ask. I think what I like about sending... Oh, good god, it's the beach. Anyway, go on. <laughs> I think what I like about sending Luigi or Mario out on their own is that there's no communication between the two of them. So, like, Luigi just does this. Anyway, Bobbums fucking suck. Wow, I thought you did that one. I did. It blew up. It's just, if it blows up close enough, you still get hit and stunned. Because when Bobbums are active, they just explode, mm. and they just do whatever. Bobbums are my least favorite enemy in this game. Though, 
the troopies back here. Not fond of them either. They're enemies that can actually heal. We'll probably see that at some point. But yeah, if you can get the bob bombs to stop glowing like that, that's ideal. Oh no. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Yeah, so, by the way, uh, that status effect when Mario's dizzy is worse than uh, just him getting knocked on his butt. Because if he gets hit when he's knocked on his butt, he can get back up. But until his next turn, he's just completely stunned. So he can get comboed by enemies. It sucks. bob are so bad. They're the worst, and I hate them. <laughs> Uh, also, on the overworld, they just do that. <laughs> they just freak the fuck out. So, yeah, not only are they dangerous in battle, they can also get into a fight with you very easily. <laughs> oh, and here's Lackapy. Uh, that's a pretty frequent occurrence, where you'll just sort of launch yourself into a... Uh, Spiny. Oh, well, that wasn't great. <laughs> or Sharpie, rather, not a Spiny. But yeah, Lackapy will just hover above you, throwing enemies out at you for a while. Until you actually destroy him, and he's got a fair bit of HP. But his attacks are pretty easy to read. Uh, a little more difficult, though, if you... Uh, don't, or if you haven't killed any of the, uh, Sharpies. Oh, and then <laughs> we immediately get into the fight with more Sharpies. But, uh, yeah, uh, when he has two Sharpies on the field, uh, he'll just send out a spiky ball that I believe moves a little bit faster. So it's actually kind of difficult to get around that. Alright, so, uh, let's just go into this cave, ignore everything else on the Hell Beach. Now we can go to the castle area east, but, like, this is the worst area to go to. Because <laughs> you, just, you just come back to this. What is this? The fuck is oh, that? Oh, God! <laughs> you think you can stop me? You, th you think higher, having the higher ground is going to help? Is this just that one beach from No More Heroes? <laughs> Travis is going to be you fighting that person. Blow up. So I believe there's just a big Koopa over here, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Still can't do anything about him. <laughs> this is the point where I just ignore all of the enemies as hard as I possibly can. Ain't nothing gonna break my stride. Nobody's gonna slow me down, I say, as a bomb bomb draws closer and closer. Also, god, those guys trace your movements so well. <laughs> oh. Uh, so yeah, I think they can only spawn so many uh, Sharpies on the field, which is why he wasn't attacking. Once you start killing these Sharpies, though, he'll just throw more in. All my friends hated me. I don't know why they were so annoyed by me electrifying them when they were filled with water. Bunch of sticks in the mud. So yeah, if it wasn't obvious, we don't really have anything that can take us through that direction, or uh, solve that puzzle, rather. We can't go through here because we don't have super hammers. I thought the question what a super rock slide was, but it's just a rock slide involving super rocks. Okay. <laughs> oh, rock slide, that's no, not so bad. Oh god, those are super rocks! No! See what a rock slide that is pure of heart becomes awakened by anger. It becomes a super rock. <laughs> and this is to go even further beyond! Also, don't think I don't see that secret passage. Have to go to the Minus World. 
Yeah, we can get a 1-up mushroom, but that's not good enough. I want something from over here. Now, thankfully, this gives us a reward. It's not Minus World, but it's also not like the thing they do in uh, Japanese Super Mario Bros. 2, where like you go through the hidden area and then there are pipes that take you back to the previous worlds and a pit so you can just throw yourself into it. <laughs> Just a very specific fuck you if you remember anything about uh, the previous game. Alright, so the high end badge we got uh, is basically just a thing that, uh, let's see, I think that actually just like increases your power during a fight. So that's neat. I think it also ups your, uh, bros points as well. And, oh yeah, by a hefty 12. Jeez, that's not bad. Alright, so we've got some new enemies here. These are Tanumbas. I kind of like these enemies. They're neat. Also, apparently I just was not feeling these enemies right now. Even though there is actually one thing I need to show off with the uh, troopies. Anyway, this attack's neat. So yes, when they transform, uh, they will actually transform into the opposite brother that's going to that it's going to attack. So if it transforms into Luigi, it will go after Mario, and when it turns into Mario, it goes for Luigi. It's pretty easy to counter though. Which is good because if you come here early, these guys have a lot of HP to chew through. Uh, these are some of the enemies I was talking about earlier when I talked about exploring things instead of going straight to the castle. Uh, but these are the guys you can reasonably manage. Bob bombs I wouldn't try. <laughs> I would not try ever. But especially not pre-Bean Bean Castle and Hoo Hoo Woods. You're really not concerned about whether Mario lives or dies. <laughs> I was concerned about bob bombs. Anything else is not a problem. Oh hey, we got Splash Bros. Advance. So yeah, uh, I don't usually use uh, Bros moves outside of battle, so typically I don't get advanced moves. But uh, hey, we're getting them. That's good. So, let's see, do I do Advanced Splash Bros? Yep, here we go! Dang, what a good ass drill. Oh, uh, so basically, Advanced Splash Bros Less damage to normal enemies, double damage to spike uh, enemies. That's actually pretty neat. That's actually, like, strategically pretty dang useful. <laughs> Especially since normally Splash Bros is the one that can't go after spiked enemies. I can't... I can sort of remember what the advanced version of uh, Chopper Bros does, but I don't think it does anything like super special like Splash Bros does. And it's certainly nowhere near as effective as just normal ass Chopper Bros. Chopper Brothers is OP. Oh, and I guess something new is going to happen here. For strength. Good job, Mario. And man, <laughs> not been having the best luck with level ups lately. Alright, so since we're taking on the flying versions of the uh, 
troopies, that means we're probably not going to show the thing you can do against them. Because basically, I'm doing damage to them before their wings fall off, which means they have HP, they can uh, heal themselves, and they probably will heal themselves rather than just attacking normally. Alright, so uh, I guess since the troopies are going to be selfish and uh, not just straight up attack us in some kind of death sentence, uh, there's nothing else to show in this episode. So, next time on Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, there is more stuff to do in town that we are going to be taking a look at.